And as Dana just said, tonight Hurricane Adalia has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but it's still moving through Georgia and the Carolinas after leaving behind a mess along the Big Bend region of Florida's Gulf Coast, where it first made landfall. NBC's Jay Gray has details from Gainesville, Florida. Good evening, and what a difference a day makes. A beautiful evening here in Gainesville. If you'd have told me that this morning when we were riding out this storm, I, I just wouldn't have believed it. Overnight into the early morning, we saw heavy rain, strong winds, but this storm, once it got over land, accelerated and, and moved through pretty quickly, allowing teams to get out, allowing repairs to start happening. Along the coastline, that's where Idalia made its most serious mark in Florida. It, it really ravaged the areas where it made landfall. A wall of water in some places 10 feet high or more. And there was that wind, 125 miles an hour sustained, that ripping apart some of those coastal communities as well. This was a well-organized, intense storm, and we know that because over land, pushing into Georgia, it was still a Category 1 hurricane. There, significant damage, flooding, down trees, and a mess in Georgia as it continued to push through. And the Carolinas now taking the beating. Uh, we've seen throughout the evening there, uh, tornado watches and warnings. They are getting some severe rain. We've seen water lapping up and over some of the seawalls. Uh, there. This storm's going to continue to move, and, and what forecasters are saying is it's going to continue to pack this punch. It, it could, by late this evening or early tomorrow morning, begin to turn out and, and back over water, where hopefully at that point it's going to fade away, but not without leaving severe damage in its wake. That's the latest from here in Gainesville. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you now.